The first leaks of the hardware behind the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 emerge. Google launches Android 4.4.4 to the surprise of many. And could it be that Nokia wants to launch their X2 already? I'm Jaime Rivera, and at the time of the recording of this video, my country was still in the World Cup, and I'm crossing my fingers. This is Pocketnail Daily. Let's begin today with some of the official news as Android 4.4.4 was released today by Google and it's really interesting because nobody was expecting it. I mean, we are just a couple of days away from Google I.O. and uh, we get a software update and uh, according to some internal sources, the update is just some security patches, really nothing major. So it should be pushed to all Nexus devices and hopefully it will reach uh, whatever Google Edition devices are out there though. Stay tuned as we are expecting a newer version of Android to launch next week. In other official news, Microsoft has just launched its much-expected Surface Pro 3 in Microsoft stores today, though uh, there is a catch. You can only buy the Core i5 model today, and if you want the Core i3 or Core i7 model, you'll have to wait till August. Now, why is this bad? Well, uh, remember that the Surface Pro 3 is being retailed at different price points, but the Core i5 model starts at 9 Nine, nine. A thousand bucks if you want to buy this thing. So, um, yeah, if you want the cheaper model, you'll have to wait. Now, a very interesting rumor is that even though the Nokia X was launched at MWC 2014 to not much fanfare, uh, it is a cool product, but not where it should be just yet. Apparently, Nokia wants to launch the Nokia X2 next week. Now, obviously, this is still a rumor. It's not very much confirmed. What exactly are we expecting? All we have is a banner as part of the leak, so um, stay tuned. Hopefully, they figure it out this time. How about a better display? Now let's talk about Apple and specifically the iWatch as the Wall Street Journal is already reporting what to expect from this product. First of all, apparently it'll launch in October, so apparently the iPhone 6 will launch in September. And apparently this iWatch will have 10 sensors. 10 different sensors in order to figure out your health, tracking, etc. So really interesting to see what we can expect, though obviously iOS 8 could tell us a lot in the future betas. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, benchmarks now reveal what to expect from the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. A lot of people have been asking me this on Twitter. Yes, I do want this phone. First of all, apparently it'll have a 2K display, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, aside from the fact that this will apparently be the first 64-bit uh, processor, Exynos processor on a Samsung product, an Android product per se, though obviously there is a lot of time from here to EFA where we expect this product to be launched. Aside from other details, link to the description for what to expect from this product, but that leads me to the question of the day. Is the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 the phone you're waiting for this year? Because in my particular case it is, though I'm really curious to see what new form factor Samsung plans to bring as they said they would with the Note lineup soon, so stay tuned for that. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on fuckingout.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.